Today, I wanna to take some time to talk about one of the most underutilized and probably most undervalued shots in any creative's repertoire, and it's one that I don't really see focused enough in the sports creative world, and that is the establishing shot and understanding what a really good establishing shot can do to enhance your videos in the long term. What's going on guys, Juan here. Welcome back to the channel. And as always, very excited to be here with you guys to talk about more sports creative content. If you guys aren't familiar with me, my name is Juan. I'm a 25 year old content creator living in Toronto, Ontario, and I work full time in the sports creative industry. And I make these videos to help other people who are looking to find opportunities and get work in the sports creative world, to talk about cameras, talk about just general advice, and just help you guys on your creative journeys in general. An establishing shot is exactly what it sounds like. It's essentially a shot or a piece of footage establishing the location in which a video is taking place in order to give context to the viewer. And it's actually really important to establish the context of the location in which you are creating a video in and trying to tell a story in for your audience. And you can use this shot to actually showcase a lot of different things to your viewers, such as your actual physical location, the time of day, the weather, the mood in said location, all of which can have major impacts in the story you're trying to tell in your videos. And by giving your viewer all these pieces of information through an establishing shot, you're not only significantly increasing the quality of your video, but you're also making it a lot easier for the viewer to immerse yourself in that world of your video that you're trying to tell a story through, making it an overall better viewing experience for your audience in general, which is, in my opinion, one of the most important things you can do as a video creative. And in my workflow and creative process, whenever I'm making a video, whether it's a short form piece for social media or maybe something more long form, say like a documentary or a short film type piece, I'm always trying to use establishing shots at some point in my video in the project in order not just to tell the audience where it's taking place but to set the tone and the mood as to what they're about to experience for example right now with my work with the nhl i'm doing a lot of short form social media hypes as we're in the stanley cup playoffs and i'm using establishing shots very early in the videos to establish a few things to the viewers I'm trying to tell them what city we're in, what two teams are involved, maybe what arena we're playing in, but I'm also using it to showcase the atmosphere, showing the fans, showing you know people going crazy, whether it's the beginning of the game or late in the game, I'm using those shots as cutaways in order to showcase a lot more information than just the action on the ice. One thing I actually been doing a lot too recently with establishing shots is using them as cutaways to keep a story moving forward. This might include me throwing a different city shot halfway through a video or maybe a plane taking off and landing in a different city, not just to showcase, you know, going from city A to city B, but also to showcase the movement of time and the progression in the story. In sports filmmaking, establishing shots can take many different forms, and they're not always necessarily very obvious or right in your face. Right off the bat, just showcasing a wide shot of a stadium, an arena, a city, wherever you happen to be for your video is one of the easiest things you can do to establish location and give context to your viewers. One of my favorite things to literally do every time I get to a new city or to a new venue is just to take a few wide still shots, whether it's handheld or on a tripod of the location, just, you know, shoot 30 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever of the location empty or filling up or whatever the situation calls for just getting those shots. They might not make it into your video at all, but trust me, I make a point to get those shots before I do anything else in a brand new location. And oftentimes I am throwing them in there just as that tone setter, as that, you know, calm before the storm type shot. And they come in handy more often than you think. However, you don't have to limit yourself to just getting those wide establishing shots alone. Don't be afraid to get creative. Like I said, sometimes the more unique ones aren't necessarily the most obvious ones. By changing your position, by actually literally changing your camera angle, say shooting upwards toward the top of the venue or maybe downwards from a different higher angle can give you a drastically different example of a wide establishing shot or getting different little details in the environment. Sometimes all it takes is a quick lap of the venue you're in and you're gonna be able to start noticing a lot of different details that can work as establishing or cutaway shots for your videos down the line. One of my favorite things to do when I'm shooting establishing shots after I'm done getting the ones that I are ground level is to shoot upwards, looking for floodlights, looking for flags looking for different structures up above that can give some different context and some different perspective or for the other way you can do it is you can go upwards in the stadiums if you can go in the stands or you know in a catwalk or something that you know gives you a bird's eye view and looking downwards at your venue you're going to get drastically different looking shots than you were at ground level or at a different location looking upwards and that can give you a lot of different variants in terms of the establishing shots you can use in your videos another way you can showcase different moods or set different tones with your establishing shots in your video is to combine them with the weather conditions you find yourself in if you happen to be shooting outdoors. Whether that's shooting clouds, 
moving over a stadium on a clear blue sunny day or showcasing how an arena can look completely different in the golden light of sunset you can do a lot of different things depending on the weather in your location while you're shooting establishing shots and that can drastically change the look and feel of a venue from one point of the day to the other some of my favorite establishing shots and scenics i've ever gotten in my career have come from combining the venue i'm in with specific time of day or very unique weather situations getting to shoot scenics at fenway park is one thing but then getting to shoot scenics at fenway park during golden hour was a completely different experience purely because of the golden light that was spilling onto the park and the way it was reflecting off all different kinds of surfaces and textures the way the sky was a mix of gold and purple just gave a completely different context and mood to the establishing shots i got earlier in the day and sometimes they can even add to the story you're trying to tell in the right situations i remember shooting carter finley stadium for the 2023 nhl stadium series in which the carolina hurricanes played in and i got these very particular shots of the stadium as they were preparing it with a thunderstorm rolling into the background which adds to kind of that context of the carolina hurricanes name and a thunderstorm rolling over the arena as they prep for the game again very nuanced very unique situations but in this case added to the context of the video and the game that was going to happen another way you can change up all your scenics and even add to the scenics you've already shot is to change up your focal length you don't always have to shoot them at those wide 16 millimeter focal lengths getting up close and personal and getting the details does just as much as all of those wide shots i've talked about before I love using a zoom lens in order to shoot parts of the environment that I can't necessarily reach or maybe using a prime or a macro lens to really get those small little details if they're available in your environment. For example, I ended up getting a lot of really cool scenics in South Florida when I was there for the All-Star game using a Helios vintage lens. It's like a 44 millimeter and just using a different focal length in a different environment allowed me to get a lot more unique shots. I was able to get really close detail shots of the trees and the sky and the sand and the beach and it's just a different experience and a different impact on your viewers seeing those details and seeing different aspects of your locations when you're up close and personal versus using those crazy wide angles. Also using something like a vintage lens if you have access to them or a prime give you a lot more different characteristics than using your typical zoom lenses and I actually really enjoyed using that lens for that reason. It just brought something else out in the footage that I wouldn't have been able to get otherwise and it gave much more of an authentic warm feel to the footage that I got that day shooting scenics. One last thing I will add that you can change in your establishing shots to give them a different look and feel is adding movement. Whether you are on a gimbal, whether you are handheld on a tripod or in any other kind of form of stabilization, adding movement is a game changer when it comes to scenics. And sometimes all it takes is adding the slowest push in or pull out while getting the shot, maybe a side to side tracking movement or even panning the camera up and down or side to side. Adding that little bit of dynamic movement can make a huge difference. Another one you can do that's really easy is standing still is zooming your lens in and out really slowly or really quickly depending on the type of shot in the video you're trying to make if that fits into your edit and the overall tone and mood that the video that you're trying to make. So next time you're out shooting a game or an event, make sure you take some time to get your establishing shots. Whether you're taking 10 minutes at the start of the day or taking in a whole hour if you have the ability to, Getting these shots can not only enhance the story in the video you're trying to make, but also enhance the viewer experience as well, give you different cutaway shots to use as B-roll, and also just give you different opportunities to showcase the transition of time or from location to location. There are so many uses for these kinds of shots. So next time you're out shooting, make sure to take some time out to get your establishing shots. Trust me, it makes a whole lot of a difference down the line when you have them at your disposal. And that does it for today's video. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for making it to this point in the video if you guys haven't yet i would really appreciate it if you give it a like and if you're new here or you've been around for a while and haven't hit the subscribe button please do so i would really really appreciate it if you guys have any questions relating to establishing shots the gear i use in this video please let me know in the comments down below i'm happy to chat and converse with you guys give you guys tips and tricks when it comes to things like establishing and scenic shots the gear i use etc etc also, one thing I want to let you guys know, I have released a brand new digital product on my Sellify store. I released a brand new Premiere Pro project template. This is an asset I've spent the last three or four years developing in order to enhance my efficiency and my speed and my general organization as a video editor. And I wanted to give this asset away for free to you guys to use in your own projects. Efficiency and organization are two things that have made me a much better video editor and creative over the last five years. And creating a templated folder like this with places to organize all your footage, all your audio, has made a lot of difference in my workflow and it saved me so much time. So if you guys wanna access this, the link is down below. 
feel free to download it. It's completely free. Just something I want to give to you guys as a thank you for being so supportive on my YouTube journey so far. And that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.